friends. So here we are. Here is the example for day 13, going through all three challenges in which we want to create a traffic light sequence that allows cars to go with the green light. But when a pedestrian wants to cross, they can press the crosswalk button and it will then stop traffic to allow the people to cross the street. And then we're also going to be incorporating a buzzer to beep while they're crossing the street to help those that uh, maybe are visually impaired or just need that audio. So what I'm going to do is walk you through my code here. Please keep in mind, there are a ton of ways to do this challenge of creating a traffic light sequence that allows a pedestrian to cross through the crosswalk. This is just one way. I'm sure there are better ways, cleaner ways, more efficient ways, but this is what um, I was able to come up with through my work and my trials and tribulations, so I hope it helps for those that are stuck. So what I have up here, this is just kind of building off all the things we've been doing in day 13. We're gonna import to GPIO zero, and we're gonna import button, the traffic lights, and buzzer. These are the three that we've been using, so we're gonna keep those the same. And I'm also gonna incorporate the sleep function as well. I've got my variables right here, my button in button 21, my lights are going to be traffic lights 25, 8, and 7, and then the buzzer is plugged into GPIO pin 15. So these are exactly the same as what we've been doing all day in this project. Something that I haven't been doing as much, I'm going to do more of this as we start to get more involved, is I am putting in comments. So when you want to see the sample code, if you use the pound or hashtag, you can leave comments um, to help you kind of work through, navigate, explain your thinking as you go through. This kind of helps keep your code clean and organized, and it helps you go back and kind of troubleshoot when you start to write more advanced code. But what is going to happen here is the way this program works, it's going to be default to the green light to allow cars just to drive without stopping. And so what we're going to do at this point, we don't have a, any LED screens or anything yet, so we're just going to print a statement here on our Moo program to say press button if you need to cross the street. And then what's going to happen here is I got to have my lights in the default stance where all the lights um, are going to be off except for the green light to allow the cars to pass. And then we have a loop block here, so while true. We're starting here waiting for the button to be pressed. And once the button's pressed, I'm going to put in a command here to print wait for signal before crossing. And this is just to make sure they don't enter the street too quickly. So what's going to happen is the green light is going to turn off, the yellow light is going to be on here for three seconds, and then the buzzer is going to beep for the visually impaired. The yellow light is going to turn off and the red light will be on. So it's going to kind of give a three second window of time for cars to come to a stop as well as pedestrians to make sure no cars are going to the intersection. I'm then going to give the command that you may cross now right here with this print. And they're going to have five seconds to do that. After that, the buzzer is going to turn off. The green light is going to turn back on, and then the yellow and red lights will be turned off as well. So I just want you to have all that there. So when we go to run this program, you're going to see that the green light is on, just as you can see right here. Nothing is the same. Nothing changes. And as I go through here and press this button, you can see now that the yellow light is on. Boy, that buzzer is really loud this time, isn't it? And you can see now that it's defaulted back. So I had it to five seconds, so that's three beeps. That's one, one second on, one second off, one second on, one second off, one second on. We could adjust these times. But this is a sample code of how to go through and solve this challenge. I can't wait to see what you come up with. I'm so excited for you to come up with your ideas. You can see down here where it, it printed off the messages as we went through. So I look forward to seeing your work, your videos, your, your builds over in the Slack channel. All right, my friends, as always, stay awesome. Peace.